Okay, CJ lifts the rack. And we've got Bill Fuller to start this one off. Uh, Bill's going to go up there and check the rack. And well, look at his uh, cue ball placement here. He got the ball about two to three inches off the rail there. Um, I don't like this. It kind of restricts your, your, your movement a little bit. Let's see what kind of result he gets. And look out for that cue ball. Almost went in the side pocket. And... You well, know, Bill's going to have a tough go with this. Uh, he really doesn't have a shot on this two ball. He can try to bank it over towards the nine ball. Uh, I think the correct shot would be to try to bank this ball and play it off the nine or try to bank it clean. Uh, but cue ball control, I want to watch to see what happens with this cue ball because there's really not an easy safety here. Here you go ahead, and he hit that a little short. And, you know, even if he would have made that, uh, he really didn't have a good shot on that three ball. And as uh, CJ comes to the table, uh, he's got one of the toughest positions in the game of nine ball. Uh, you've got a, a two balls, the two and the three, that are practically glued to the same rail. Uh, one of the top and one of the bottom. So what CJ has to do because of this angle is he's got to, make this two come back over and across and he didn't hit this the way he wanted to and now he's got a pretty tough cut rail shot here uh, on this three ball and he's got to go ahead and stay down he came up on that and he paid for it so you know neither player uh, able to get out of the gate here and put anything together. And as Bill comes to the table, I think the toughest shot he has is the one he's facing right now from the three to the four. And what he wants to do uh, is get the cue ball uh, towards the center of the table. Uh, he wants to pocket this three, uh, come one rail, and have his cue ball come up towards the center of, a t center of the table at a point somewhere between the 6 and the 7. That little patch area right there. And Bill's waiting for a player to get out of the way there. And see how he strokes this. Uh, very nice. He hit that a little hard. Um, he's actually on the... Uh, he actually fell pretty well on this. Uh, he just needs to get a little bit tighter on this six. And this six ball is pretty far from the pocket. But if he can go, oh, he hit that ball right into the rail. And that's nerves right there, folks. Um, sometimes when you're playing a world-class player such as C.J. Wiley, uh, who is a former world champion, you know, you get your... Uh, you get your nerves uh, calmed down before the match, and, and it doesn't matter uh, who you are or what's at stake. Uh, your arm's going to start rattling. Uh, you know, these guys are really, they play so well, you, there, there's no room for error. <clears throat> and as CJ comes to the table there, he went ahead, he kind of babied that six ball, but he's got a nice angle on this seven. Now he's going to hit this cue ball on the bottom and just kind of slide his cue ball towards the center of the table. That's absolutely perfect. And right now, he just wants to pocket this 8, come off of that bottom rail, and have a straight line going up towards the 9. That's textbook right there. So, uh, looks like C.J. Wiley's going to get on the board first. And there you go. He drew first blood, and C.J. Wiley up one game on Bill Fuller. So now we're going to get a chance to... Uh, to see CJ hit the balls and what's interesting about CJ is he has such a strong mental game and such a strong physical game and that's from his uh, interest in martial arts see how he hits these wow that cue ball flew right over the one ball and that that you're not going to see CJ Wiley do that very often. So uh, Bill Fuller comes to the table, and I really don't like the way he set that cue ball up. I would have liked to seen him uh, use the rail uh, to get to this two ball. 
And the reason is, you see the position of the four. Uh, he's going to have to come. Yeah, he had to get a little higher on this four ball. Uh, you see where that cue ball is? He wanted to be up maybe another six to eight inches. Uh, right now, he's shooting away from the five ball. And in the game of nine ball, what you want to do is you always want to be having natural position with your cue ball towards your next shot. And here he's going to try to to sneak this past the corner pocket there. He's coming down. He did a pretty good job there. Uh, that's a world-class shot right there. Uh, but he's got an angle right now to where the natural angle of his cue ball is going into the seven. So he either has to draw this either straight back and see that's not going to work. Uh, right now the natural angle of his cue ball is going into the seven ball. Uh, he wants to have his cue ball uh, basically in the center of the table so that he could play it off of the rail here. Right now he's going to have to play this into the seven ball. And and this is why. Look at this. And that's not good. And yeah, you see the See the look on Bill's face, he knows it. <clears throat> and CJ CJ gets up, he's he's just getting out of Bill's way and I'm gonna see if we can get a better angle at this shot. Uh, I'm pretty sure the cue ball can make it through there. Um, and there he goes and oh that was a nice attempt at a safety. Uh, what Bill tried to do is to put that eight down on the rail and put his and hide that cue ball behind the nine. Uh, very good effort by Bill, uh, but he kind of kind of left CJ a, an open look at this, and it's an excellent shot from CJ Wiley, and he's going to go up 2-0, and CJ Wiley in the lead by two games over Bill Fuller. Balls now and. Uh, like I was saying with C.J. Wiley, uh, he's got such a strong work ethic, uh, a strong mental game, a strong physical game, uh, and that's that's due to his interest in martial arts. Uh, helps him out a lot with his discipline, uh, a lot of his body movements. Uh, let, let's watch his follow through on this break. Look at that, and there goes the nine, and there's a. There's a great game from C.J. Wiley right there. Beautiful break. And though the score on the screen says 0-0, zero, zero, uh, C.J. Wiley is up three zeros. Right now it says 2-0. C.J.'s actually up three games to none. And Bill's got to do something here to, to stop the bleeding. Uh, you don't want to give C.J. Wiley this big of a lead. Uh, it's going to get to where it's out of reach. And Lear, there, look at that break. And he actually took a little bit off of that one. And he's got a nice shot here on this one ball. And what he wants to do is have his cue ball go up to that top rail. And in between the 8 and the 9, just like that, he's coming down. Came up a little short. He wanted to be down maybe another 3 or 4 inches, but he'll deal with this. He just has to miss this 8 ball. And here he goes, puts his cue ball in the, in the center of the table. And that's a good tip for, for any beginning player. And CJ uh, didn't stroke that ball very, very well. But if you put the cue ball in the center of the table and learn how to shoot uh, from, from maybe a, a, th a three-foot uh, circle, a three-foot in diameter circle in the center of the table, uh, and shoot most of your shots and position your cue ball in there most of the time, uh, you're going to get pretty good at running out in nine ball. Uh, a lot of players, they try to get an exact position. A lot of players try to get a little bit too cute and, and too exact. Uh, basically what you want to do is stay on the right side of the ball and always have an angle to your next shot. And right now, uh, C.J. Wiley lucked out because Bill has a lot of traffic to go through and... I think that kind of got in Bill's head there. Uh, there was no way for him to really uh, pocket that four ball and get back down on the six. And CJ has a beautiful angle uh, to come off of that top rail and right to the center of the table. And you're going to see the greatest players in the world are going to do that time after time. 
And right now, what CJ needs to do is just avoid getting caught behind this eight ball. And see the way he slid up to, to go right in between that window, between the eight and the nine? He's still in the center of the table. He goes up, and he's going to come back down. And CJ wishes he was a little bit closer to this eight ball. He's actually shooting away from the nine, which I'm pretty sure he doesn't like. But he can go ahead and put this, this eight ball in the side pocket. Uh, a lot of players would try to get cute and put it in the corner, but you know CJ knows that the eight ball is going to go into the pocket that it's closest to. And let's watch how straight his cue ball is here. Look at that. See the way he let the, the English take off of the rail? And he's absolutely perfect. So C.J. Wiley, uh, with this nine ball, will go up uh, to take a four-game lead over Bill Fuller. So C.J. Wiley, four nothing. And right now, C.J. Wiley, uh, let's see how he hits these balls here. Let's watch his cue ball control. And see the way he drew that? He's keeping the cue ball with the one ball. And uh, he's going to have problems with this rack right here. Uh, he's got a shot on the one, but if you look at the look where the two ball is, that's what CJ's looking at right there. Uh, the two ball, I'm not sure if it passes uh, past the nine. Uh, if not, you'll either see CJ play safe, or if he can get the two under that corner pocket, he'll try to slide the cue ball up there, uh, kind of to where he was just standing uh, near that side pocket. I can't tell from this angle if it goes or not. And it looks like he's shot at the one ball. He's going to come up here, and he's, he's either going to play this two in the side pocket or he's going to play safe. And CJ's uh, going to wait for... And there he goes. He's going to get down. And he this, this ball either must go or he must have a pretty good safety opportunity. And... I'm not sure if he was trying to put the cue ball behind the four or what he was trying to do or if he's trying to pocket that, but uh, he's left a window open for Bill Fuller. Uh, Bill has a natural angle off this two ball. Uh, the cue ball is going to have a natural angle to go right towards that four ball. And he jarred the pocket. And you can't miss too many of those shots uh, playing a world-class player like C.J. Wiley because uh, you're going to pay for it every single time. He'll probably go rail first on this. Uh, he decided to go, and wow, that was dangerous. And uh, we're going to have a safety battle here, folks. Uh, C.J. is going to go ahead and put this cue ball uh, behind the six. And he didn't get there. Uh, he tried. He looks like he kind of rushed that. He didn't take his time. Now, CJ looks a little uncomfortable, a little impatient. Uh, but he's not leaving Bill Fuller anything to really shoot at, uh, except for this safety. And Bill did an excellent job to get the ball, the cue ball, behind those three balls. Uh, I would have liked to have seen him use the rail to get in to actually have that cue ball either up against the 8, the 9, or the 7. Because uh, when you do that, you take the jump out of it, and C CJ can just go right over these balls. See that? And even though he didn't make it, uh, CJ hit that four ball. And I was told a long time ago, you know, it, even if you hit it, you know, do whatever you can to make contact with that lowest numbered ball. Because even if you leave them straight in, it's a hell of a lot better than leaving somebody ball in hand. Because if you give somebody ball in hand, they can do whatever they want with the cue ball. So it, it really helps you to elevate your safety game in situations like that. It was a great shot by Bill uh, to get that four ball, but he really didn't get any... Uh, any reward for it with this shot on the five. Uh, the natural angle, <clears throat> he's going to have to go two rails with this, and he he doesn't want the cue ball to go into the eight and the nine here. And he didn't want to go in there either. Oh, he's very fortunate not to scratch on that shot. So the problem with this here is he can't he can't see all of the cue ball. Uh, his natural angle coming off of the six is going into the eight, and he really can't draw this ball. 
And there. See, he pocketed the six, but he doesn't have a shot on the seven. And the natural angle, I, I was taught a long time ago, in, when you're playing nine ball, uh, plan your position routes with the angle in and the angle out. Uh, you always want to have that angle out going towards your next shot. Uh, right now, uh, Bill's going to either have to bank this ball or play safe. And he decided to play safe. And he left CJ a one-rail kick at this seven. And I guess a world-class player with the kicking ability of CJ Wiley, uh, you really you, you want to leave a kick shot. You want to at least leave him kicking two or three rails. Uh, you never want to just leave a one rail shot because, you know, it's very easy to line these up. And see that CJ almost made that shot. And that's the difference that you're going to see with the world class players is they're not going to kick to just merely hit the ball. They're going to kick to make that ball. And I'm not sure if the 7-9 the is lined up to go in that side pocket. Bill's looking at it. Uh, kind of looks like it's going into the point of that side pocket. He's got a better look at it than we do. Let's see how that ball goes. And right down in the heart of the pocket. So you now Bill Fuller gets up on the board. And he's down 1-4 uh, to C.J. Wiley. So Bill Fuller um, got a pretty good result off the break. Has a nice shot here on the one ball. And he wants to avoid hitting this eight ball, and in doing so, undercut that one ball. So it looks like he's left CJ a window to get this ball into the pocket, and CJ has natural position to come back to the center, but he also Just just doesn't feel it right there. <laughs> so they're both kind of laughing. And there Bill comes over and across. And right here he's got a nice shot on this two ball. Uh, he's going to have to spin with some inside English on this shot to have that cue ball pull into that top rail. Let's see how he hits this. He's got some inside low. He hit that way too hard and paid for it. And shots like that are, are really killing Bill Fuller right now. That's 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 why the score is 1-4 in CJ's favor. And CJ has a pretty easy, easy out here. Just go ahead and stop the cue ball off this four. That cue ball drifted a little little bit and I don't think CJ wanted that but he'll just follow this into the rail there's a little more angle on this six than he would like but what he's gonna do is he's gonna put some some stun English there and just come back over to the rail and out and he didn't try to get too cute he used that rail probably hit a little bit harder than he would have liked but he's got a nice angle to get back down on this eight ball and what CJ's doing with these shots here is he's letting his stroke out. Uh, he obviously does not have the speed of the table down, he's, so he's letting his stroke out, trying to control the cue ball. And there you go. There's another example of not having the speed of the table down. Uh, but I expect CJ to make this. And 5-1, CJ Wiley in the lead against Bill Fuller. Okay. CJ getting ready to break the balls here. And once we can get that graphic off the screen, I'll be able to tell you if he made anything. It doesn't look like it. As a matter of fact, he scratched. And uh, it's a pretty simple lay of the table here. Bill pockets the one, just slides over to the two. See what he has here. If he just, all he's got to do is pocket this two and get straight, rather straight on this three to draw back for the four. Uh, he can operate uh, out of the position he's at right now for a lot of these these shots here. Uh, the only problem ball that I see on the table is a five. Uh, I'm not sure if the five passes the eight up into that top 
uh, right hand corner pocket. I know it doesn't go past the six and the nine. So the key shot in this rack is going to be from the four to the five. You know, half the battle uh, with playing nine ball is staying on the right side of the ball, identifying the key shot in the rack. And, and like I said, it, the key shot in the rack here is from the three to the four. And uh, now he's got a pretty tough shot on this three ball. I'm not sure why he thought he had to do that, but he's got to keep his cue ball out of the side pocket here. And... The five must pass by the eight, or Bill wouldn't have, have shot it like this. He's coming back over, and he's having problems uh, with his distance between the cue ball and the object ball. However, he's dealing with this rack very well. Uh, he's going to have to draw back, make sure he stays down here. Misses, misses hitting that eight ball. But he has a very nice angle uh, to come off of this rail and up towards the eight. Oh, no. And that's the difference uh, between the world-class players. You're going to see them get their cue ball a lot closer to the object ball. And here's a perfect example of that. You're going to see CJ's about a about a foot away from from the eight ball here and most of his position is going to be a very similar distance and there he goes ahead and draws back uses this rail to get on this nine ball he's going to go up six one and CJ Wiley uh, taking a commanding lead over Bill Fuller C.J. Wiley uh, with a 6-1 lead over Bill Fuller, ready to rake the balls. And there he makes the five ball. And kind of got his cue ball kiss there. I'm not sure what he's got. He's going to go ahead and play safe. He's going to stop his cue ball here. Look at that. Puts it right up against the four ball. That's a world-class safety. Uh, there's no way that Bill Fuller can jump over these balls. And if you look, if you look, Bill Fuller's going to have to kick two rails. And if you go back to the to a couple of games ago when Bill had CJ uh, behind a group of balls, uh, CJ had room to jump, and he did. And then when Bill f played another safety, he went ahead and left CJ a one rail kick. Uh, CJ has left Bill a three rail kick here, a two to three rails here, and look, he he was really locked up there, and that's the difference uh, between the level of play. And if you really, really want to, you know, advance your game, especially with the safety game. Uh, that's something you really need to look at is when you're placing your cue ball, place your cue ball in a position where you take out that jump and you are leaving somebody kicking more than one rail. Uh, I have a lot of players ask me those questions. Uh, where do you put the cue ball? Uh, there's the perfect example right there. A uh, world-class player like C.J. Wiley uh, will put the handcuffs on you. And here he's got a pretty good opportunity to run out here. Uh, this is obviously the key shot in the rack. He's going to have to come around here okay, to get on this six ball. That's a beautiful shot. He would rather uh, be on the other side of this ball, but if he can get a nice angled shot here on this seven. This is a tough shot here. He missed one of these earlier. Oh, no. Yeah, he was worried He was worried about getting that ball into the corner pocket and just kind of let go of the cue ball. Yeah, this is a great opportunity for, for
for Bill to pick up another game. Uh, at this level, when you're playing a world-class player like C.J. Wiley, if he makes a mistake uh, and you can get out, uh, make him pay for those mistakes. Uh, take advantage of everything that you have available to you to win as many games as you possibly can. So if Bill can pocket this nine. He can, there we go, 6-2. Uh, in Bill's break, uh, if Bill can break and run out, it'll be uh, six three, and he's right back into this. You know, he's made some he's made some errors, some understandable errors. Uh, when you're playing a player like C.J. Wiley, uh, you're going to have the nerves come into it. Uh, both players are having trouble with the speed of the cloth. But if he, he can put together some games here, he can get right back into it. And here's a, it's a nice break. I haven't seen anything drop yet. And nope. <clears throat> and CJ's going to come and look at, this, look at this layout here. That five and the nine, it looks as though the five does pass into that corner pocket. So he's going to pocket that one, come up for the two ball right in the center of the table. And he's going to have to put some top right English here to pull his cue ball back. He went the other way, and I don't think he's going to get on this three the way he wants to. And no. He's going to have to go around the world here to pocket this three ball. And what he's looking at, see where he just put the tip of his cue? He's looking to get his cue ball right there uh, to get in on that four ball. Uh, position from the four to the five is vital to, for him to get out here. And he hit this a little, little low, and he's coming in between the six. And he was very fortunate uh, to, to get a shot here on this four ball. Let's go up, pop this ball off the rail. And I don't think he's where he wants to be. He, he's going to go ahead and just kind of snip this ball in. And he's still not where he wants to be. Uh, he's got to get back in line here. He's going to follow this, come back around three rails. He's doing a lot with his cue ball this game. And it kind of looks like CJ's lost control of the cue ball. And there he paid for it. Uh, he just doesn't look comfortable at the table right now. I'm not sure if there's some distractions out there. I'm not sure if uh, he's just getting a little frustrated with the speed of the cloth or not being able to get the speed of this table down. Uh, but Bill, got a nice shot here on the seven. Come up two rails. And like I said at the end of the last game, if Bill can take this game here, he's right back into it. And that's a nice shot to get on this nine ball. And 6-3. And we've got ourselves a match here. And Bill Fuller has gotten himself right back into this match. He's getting ready to break the balls. Uh, he's down 3-6 against C.J. Wiley, and there, uh, he almost scratched again in that side pocket. It looked like he tried to hit those a little bit too hard. Uh, C.J. doesn't have a clear shot into the pocket. I uh, got that one ball down on the rail, but he does have a shot. Uh, he just gazed over to where the 7 and the 8 are, and apparently this 7 does pass the 8, and it's a nice shot. And once he moves out of the way, we'll be able to see what he has for cue ball position for this next shot. It looks like he has a tough cut shot on this two ball down in the corner. Just wants to center his cue ball, and I think he was banking that. Well, no matter what he was trying to do, he really didn't leave Bill a clear shot on this two ball.